Looking for the perfect gift? Try making these candy cane body butters. They'll be your new favorite moisturizer. To start, I'm using cocoa butter, but this recipe also works with any butter you have. To that, I'm adding MCT oil as it's non-greasy and ultra light. Again, you can use any oil that you have available, although I would avoid using solid oils like coconut or palm oil as they can affect the final texture of the whipped butter. Because this body butter is something that you can make last minute, I've kept it super simple. But for those of you who want a more advanced recipe, try the candy cane body butter formula from goodformulations.com. I'm making it alongside this DIY recipe so that you can get a feel for the different formulas. To get a really light and aerated butter, we'll first need to melt everything slowly over low heat, ideally using a bain-marie or double boiler. Once the butter is melted, we need to let it set until it's completely solid. At this point, we can use an electric whisk or stand mixer to incorporate air into the butter until we have an ultra light whipped texture. Much like with cream, it's easier to whip a butter once it's cooled. So if you're having trouble getting the butter to increase in volume, make sure you routinely refrigerate it so that it's firm enough to work with. When you're done, the butter should be light, fluffy, and easy to manipulate. To make this a candy cane whipped butter, we first need to separate our mixture into two halves. Assuming that you don't have any cosmetic dyes or pigment powders, the next best thing to use is food coloring. I also use this in my gingerbread man lotion bar tutorial, which is linked below. So it's a really versatile ingredient that will work in a pinch. As long as you use an oil-based food coloring, it can turn the whipped butter anywhere from slightly pink to full-on cherry red. Just bear in mind that this is a moisturizer, so you might not want to go too crazy unless it's a novelty gift. Once we have our red and white whipped butters, we can move on to creating that signature candy cane swirl. To demonstrate the first method, I'm going to use the formula from goodformulations.com. It's a similar process but has additional ingredients to improve the texture, longevity and fragrance. So I would highly recommend this if you want a more professional product or to ship these body butters via post. Use the code FESTIVE15 to get 15% off their candy cane body butter formula until the end of December. Once you have both the red and white butters in separate piping bags, combine them together into a larger piping bag and then pipe directly into the container to make a candy cane swirl. To make my DIY version, lay a sheet of cling film or plastic wrap for my American friends on a flat surface. Carefully spread the white whipped butter in a straight line. The plastic will move, so I find it easier to dollop on the butter and then gently spread it into a line. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry if it's not completely straight. Next, add the red butter, following the same steps. Try to get it as close to the white line as possible, but do be careful not to mix the two. Once you're done, take the edge of the cling film and carefully fold it over so that the body butters are enclosed. Continue to roll up the film so that the butters form a circular tube. Twist the ends to seal and then place your body butter log in another bag and cut off the tip. Pipe the butter in a circular motion around the container so that it creates a candy cane swirl. It can be a little fiddly, but it makes a really cool candy cane effect. You know, you don't always need the most ingredients or fancy equipment to make great products. However, if you are interested in taking that next step, hit the link in the description box below.